Hello friends. In April 2009, near the end of season 6 of NCIS, two episodes, aired that served as pilots for the first spin-off of NCIS. NCIS Los Angeles. Interestingly, NCIS is also a spin-off. NCIS arose from the JAG Navy Attorney series, which, in turn, did not last as long as its offspring. Today, NCIS is in its 19th season, and NCIS Los Angeles shines in its 13th season. It's been 13 years since the series premiered. Let's take a look at the cast and see how they've changed off over the years. Let's see what they're doing in addition to the series and get to know a little more about them. Come with us. Henrietta, Hedy, Lang. Hedy is the Operations Manager for the Office of Special Projects, OSP, located in Los Angeles, California. But she is much more than that. A Cold War spy, Hedy is clever, cunning, and deadly. If in NCIS we have Gibbs as the badass, in NCIS Los Angeles, that role belongs to Hedy. An iconic character, her moments on the series are incomparably delightful. Shrouded in mystery, with dangerous contacts and the most surprising spy stories under her belt, Hetty is one of the three best and most iconic characters created for NCIS, alongside Gibbs and Dr. Mallard. Her interpreter brings in her baggage the most significant honor of Hollywood. She is an Academy Award winner. Hey, before we continue, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. It is quick, and you help us so much. Thanks. Linda Hunt is a celebrated actress throughout Hollywood. She is Academy Award-winning Best Actress in a supporting role in 1984 for The Year of Living Dangerously. One of the most memorable performances in cinema. Linda made her acting debut in 1976, at the age of 31, in the TV series, Great Performances. Six years later, she would play the character that would give her the Oscar. The Year of Living Dangerously was only her second film. Previously, she worked on the live-action adaptation of the famous character, Popeye, opposite Robin Williams in 1980. In the sequel, Linda was in several movie hits, such as Dune, the original film from 1984, Silverado, She Devil, Kindergarten Cop alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger, among other successes. On TV, Linda has been on hit series such as The Practice, Carnival, Without a Trace, and finally arriving at NCIS Los Angeles to play the iconic Hetty. We cite just a few movies and series in which Linda shown. She has been absent from the series since the start of the pandemic. However, Hetty makes an appearance from time to time to greet her team. But Hetty will hardly leave the public's memory. And his team was chosen with care, specially selecting each member. She treats each one like family. And she is a mentor for them. That's the case with Kenzie, for example. The NCIS special agent Kenzie Bly is strong-willed and determined. Coming from a military family, Kenzie has many abilities. She is a sniper. She is a forensic technician due to her expertise in criminology. Her partnership with Deeks became one of the highlights of the series. The dialogues between the two are always fun and provocative. A curiosity of the series. In NCIS Los Angeles, Kenzie and Deeks form a couple. But in real life, Daniela Rua and Eric Christian Olsen are brothers-in-law. Daniela is married to David Paul Olsen, Eric's brother. Daniela's career is divided between the United States and Portugal, being Daniela from a Portuguese family. In 2020, parallel to her work on NCIS Los Angeles, she starred in the Portuguese miniseries, A Espia, and will return for a second season in 2023. Despite their other commitments, Daniela, Chris O'Donnell, and LL Cool J are the only cast members who have appeared in every episode. Eric Christian Olsen joined the series in the 19th episode of the first season. And since then, Marty Deeks has become one of the most beloved characters among fans and a touch of comedy in the series. Originally a police officer, Deeks stumbled upon the team during an undercover case. Quickly, Hetty saw the potential in Marty and made him a liaison officer between the Los Angeles Police Department and NCIS. And Kenzie's partner. Deeks is playful, funny, and crazy. But an excellent investigator, earning even Sam's respect over time. Elevated to a regular cast member at the start of the second season, Eric has been in 269 of the 294 episodes of NCIS Los Angeles so far. Interestingly, Deeks shouldn't even exist. When Adam Jamal Craig was dropped from the show, the main cast position was offered to Brian Avers. Avers played special agent Mike Renko. But Avers refused the contract. So, the writers created the liked character of Marty Deeks. Eric seems to have been born to play Deeks. Actor and producer Eric was already known to the public for the TV series, Get Real, and for films such as Dumb and Dumberer, When Harry Met Lloyd, and Not Another Teen Movie. Even recording NCIS Los Angeles, Eric did several other works between film, TV, and dubbing. 
but it's in Deeks that he excels in acting. His character became one of the favorites of the public in Hetty. One more under the wing of the great spy, just as she protects Nell Jones and Eric Beale. Nell even more so, as apparently Hetty thinks of Nell as her natural replacement. Renee Felice Smith is an actress and producer, and her biggest job so far has been on NCIS Los Angeles for 253 episodes. After leaving the show, Renee worked on the short film, Someone to Carry You, in 2021. Nell is a special agent who serves as the team's intelligence analyst. She seems docile and harmless, but she is an excellent and capable field agent. Fans are rooting for her to return to the series and return to acting alongside Barrett FOA, the charismatic and bumbling geek Eric Beale. Both left the show together, like their characters. He is a senior tech operator, not very good at being a field agent, but he did well the few times he needed to. A total geek, Beale is the team's mascot. Intelligent and extremely capable with his computer center, he is the fundamental technological support for the team's success. Like Rene, Barrett has few works performed in his acting career. His main job was at NCIS Los Angeles. Still so, we can highlight his participation in good TV series such as Numbers, The Closer, and Entourage. Beale always has a different way of calling the team for case of the week briefings. One of the fan favorite routines. And always something that bothers Sam Hanna a little bit. Sam is a senior special agent for NCIS and a former Navy SEAL. G. Callan's partner. Muscular and good fighting style, but with the honesty and honor of a career military man, Sam is one of the strongest characters in NCIS Los Angeles. He's been through a lot during the series, including the brutal murder of his wife, CIA agent Michelle Hanna. Sam found support in his children, colleagues, and, most importantly, in his closest friend and partner, Callan. Undoubtedly, LL Cool J lives a very intense character in NCIS Los Angeles. And that certainly marks his career as an actor. He tries to perform his own stunts, where possible. He explained, I want people to know that I'm invested in the character and I want to give them the real experience. He is an American rapper, with several film and TV works on his resume. He is a two-time Grammy Award winner. LL Cool J is known for several hip-hop songs' success. He plays Sam Hanna as a quiet and severe type, but a good friend and great professional, especially alongside Callan, who is his ideal companion. Callan and Sam have been partners for many years, know each other very well, and have the intimacy of someone who has been through a lot of trouble and saved each other's lives several times. Callan is a complex character with a mysterious past. Orphaned, he found Hetty who took care of and trained him to be more than an agent. Callan was first a spy for the CIA and then for the NCIS. However, he has a motherly relationship with Hetty who taught him everything he knows and took care of him. Chris O'Donnell is one of the most experienced and famous actors in the cast. Suffice it to say that he was alongside George Clooney in the 1997 film Batman and Robin as Robin. And in the super award-winning movie, Scent of a Woman, alongside Al Pacino. He was D'Artagnan, opposite Charlie Sheen and Kiefer Sutherland in the version of The Three Musketeers in 1993. In addition to Chris having made appearances in several TV series. But the complex and mysterious G. Callan, alongside his team, has been Chris' best challenge in the last 13 years. Who knows, 14 or more. After all, we're rooting for the show to be renewed for more seasons beyond the current 13th season. Okay friends, we've come to the end of the video. NCIS Los Angeles is one of the best series today, even with 13 seasons. Great idea for a marathon on streaming. And if you liked this video, leave your like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell to view our upcoming videos. Thank you for staying with us this far. Bye.